Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new uh, video on Bitcoin. Your daily update, excuse me, just had to check my phone for a little bit. Hope you're all doing great. And um, yeah, we'll talk about Bitcoin. We had a little bit of a bearish opening today, which was, in my eyes, this was mostly fundamental. I mean, as you as you, as you can see right here, we had this huge move around, uh, around like 7 a.m. in my time zone, at least. Uh, and moves like this usually are fundamental uh, you can also probably when, when we check out the volume what you can probably also see is that quite a quite a large batch of bitcoin was sold and um, for what reason we don't know it could be because it's the end of the month sometimes traders close their like big institutional traders close their positions at the end of the month that's possible here you can see volume uh beginning of that move was under 13 billion at the end of it, it was around 750 million dollars how higher which is a lot of money um so yeah but that's what we'll talk about in this video before we get into uh, bitcoin specifically if you want to receive daily trading signals from me check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments and there you'll find instructions on how to join let me click quickly adjust the camera and now let's go. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit ill, but not too much. So um, let's get into it. So with this move, right now we're we're really kind of, it it really is going to depend what's going to happen, how this candle will close. So this candle will have already closed when you're watching this video. Right now it still takes about 15 minutes. See the problem is is that the dollar strength index today is quite strong. We have a strong dollar. It's getting near resistance levels, but it still has to rise a little bit to get there. Uh, so with that rise. Look, right now, the biggest thing is, is that we, we gave up this level, or at least it, it seems like we're giving up this level around 27,400, uh, which is bearish confirmation, all right? So if we really close below that, which is the most likely scenario, um, then it, what, what, what we'll probably do is take a break retest off of that level, like 27,400, 27,450. Uh, and continue down to our previous support levels around 26,800 and 26,700. At this point of time, that seems like the most likely scenario. Now, the markets are very volatile for multiple reasons. Like today, we have the debt ceiling talks in the US. We don't have a lot of big economic events or anything, which is good, I think. I don't think we could have something like that uh, with, uh, with all of the events of today. And apart from that, we have the dollar strength index, which is quite bearish for Bitcoin, at least um so altogether it, it just looks a little bit more a little bit more bearish now the only thing that could happen is that right now we are th there is a possibility like we're holding the 0 0.5 fib and there's a possibility that we stay on top of uh 27,250 with this candle close it can't see that, that that really depends so if that would happen then we are still on top of some major support levels and there's a chance that we'll just break above 27,400 again. So it's really about the 27,400 level. At, at this point of time, given all of the circumstances and given all, all, all of the factors at play here, it seems more likely that we'll break down below that and take a break retest and drop down to 26,800, 26,700. Um, but on the other hand, it's also very much possible, kind of depending on how we close, that will just break above that instantly again and get bullish, get up to 27,850 again, like nothing happened. And that this was just a little bit of a fundamental bearish move in the middle of a increasingly more bullish Bitcoin. So we we'll really have to see it, It's all about that level at this point in time. Like I said, given all of the circumstances, I think it's more likely that we'll take that bearish breakout or bearish break retest and that will drop down to 26,700 and 26,900 again. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated. If it's needed, I'll do an emergency update later today. I don't think it's needed, but still. Um, but that's my take on it for now. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.